Welcome to the Maths Made Easy tutorial on simultaneous equations. So there's going to be a few videos on this topic, we'll cover a different skill in each video, and we're going to start by looking at linear simultaneous equations. So here we have to find the solution to the following simultaneous equations. We've got 4x plus 3y equals 14. That's our first one. And then we've got 5x plus 7y equals 11, so that's our second one. Now the method that we're going to use to solve these equations is called elimination. So what we have to do is multiply each of these equations, so scale them up, such that one of the values, so x for instance, is the same in each. So uh, then we can subtract one equation from the other to eliminate the x, and we'll just be left with the y terms. So to do that, we're going to multiply the first one by 5. So that's everything in this equation. And then in the second equation, we'll multiply everything by 4. So this is going to give us 20x plus 15y equals 70 for our first equation. And it's going to give us, sorry, 20x plus 28y equals 44 in our second one. So uh, let's draw a line under this. What we're going to do, let's call these equation 1 and equation 2, is we're going to subtract equation 2 from equation 1. So this is going to leave us with nothing in the x column. And then 15y minus 28y, that's going to give us minus 13y. And then 70 minus 44 equals 26. So we can get y then by dividing 26 by minus 13, and that gives us a value of minus 2. So let's make a note up here, y equals minus 2. So the next thing we do is we substitute in a value of y equals minus 2 to one of our equations, and then solve it for x. So let's use the first one. We've got 4x plus 3y equals 14. So 4x plus 3 times minus 2 equals 14. So if we uh, expand this bracket, then we get 4x, uh, sorry, that should be a minus, 4x minus 6 equals 14. Uh, so that's just going from there to there. And then we add 6 to both sides, so we should get 4x equals 20. So x equals 20 over 4, so therefore x equals 5. So our solutions are y equals minus 2 and x equals 5. If you're feeling good about this topic and you're ready to test yourself, then why not do so with our online exam? This is available through our revision platform. If you take the test, you'll find loads of different questions to have a go at, all of which you'll receive instant feedback on. So it's a good way of finding out how good you are, where you're going wrong, and how you can improve in time for your actual exam. So if this is something you're interested in, then you can click the link below and it will take you straight over there.